Hi there, welcome to another episode of Phase Drive Vlogs. Uh, today we are looking at good old Nimbrini. So yeah, we've got some uh, bits and pieces from Nimbrini to have a look at. Three uh, mini effects pedal sims, which really look interesting. Uh, and we've got, uh, running as an amp, we've got their Cali um, dual amp, the new Cali dual amp, which is currently on sale for I think $29 until the end of October. We're recording in the penultimate week of October, so there's still time to go and grab it. What I've heard so far is well worth $29. The amp's a Mesa rectifier clone, um, and it's um, not the sort of amp I'd usually go for, but out of my kind of comfort zone because I'm more kind of Fender sort of. Fun, um, to sort of rock, maybe hard rock, you wouldn't be pushed. Sort of and this is definitely the kind of rock end of the scale, and it goes you know, pretty heavy. Um, but it does do really good clean, really good crunch, you know, slightly salted, and it's tons of flexibility in it. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, but first off, uh, just to talk through our setup, um, we bypassed the um, Cali's internal IR loader and we are using our favourite mix, um, Redwire's Mix IR3 and we've got running one of the Dr. Bonkers um, 4x12 cabs uh, with the PZM mics um, because um, we tested them recently and really like them, really like the PZM cabs because they give an extra thump, they have a, a, a boundary mic stuck onto the cab which gives that extra, extra bass rumble. Um, really love it. So that's what we're running as a cab, so I'll just close that down and get out of the way. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got these three uh, really interesting effects. So these are all by um, some guys called F Audio Labs. Um, and these are basically done with, in conjunction with Nembrini and F Audio Labs. And they are software versions of um, hardware pedals that F Audio Labs do. Um, and this uh, first one, so let's have a look at them. Uh, this first one is um, the Eddie Kramer E Distortion, which is based on a pedal which F Audio Labs created, and then the Eddie Kramer Phase Life. Now, if you don't know the name Eddie Kramer, please go and look it up. Um, but anything with his name on it um, is likely good. He was involved with Led Zeppelin, so yeah, we aren't worthy. Um, and of course, the Nembrini stamp on there means that it's going to be a good piece of kit. Uh, lastly, we've got the, um, so there's a, a, a three mode phaser, three mode distortion, and then the, um, what's called the Echo Bandit, which is an analog uh, delay. Uh, again, based on an F Audio Labs pedal, so all good stuff. So let's first of all have a look at this amp. So I'm going to, um, let's just pick a. So when we test the pedals, I'm going to use a clean tone. Is, you know, I'm a kind of clean tail on the amp with distortion on pedal sort of guy, so why change that? Um, but let's have a quick look at um, a dirty tone. Uh, and this is, you know, for me, this is pretty heavy. Um, so you, it's got lots of options here for all sorts of tweakery. You can have uh, sort of modern, raw, vintage tone. I've got some vintage because I like vintage. Um, but with and this is I'm just doing sounds on one channel. You've got three channels, uh, and it'll go from like I say clean to something in, kind of in the middle, middling sort of over, overdriven sounds, um, right up to you know screaming metal game. So it'll do a, a wide range of stuff, and you've got three channels to preset, so you can go from beautiful cleans to you know utter filth in, in no time. Uh, it's also got um, this uh, great spongy switch, uh, which uh, so I just love the sound of, and, and a tube versus diode switch as well. So lots and lots of tweakability, lots of kind of options, um, and for twenty nine dollars, 
pretty damn good value. So, you know, worth worth checking out. Um, but we are going to uh, stay with a clean tone. And again, clean, it sounds pretty good. So let's have a quick noodle of the clean. Yeah, rather rather bloody nice. Um, I can't fault that. It's just such a lovely, clean tone, and you can get it to kind of that slight edge of distortion and and the warmth. And so it, you know, it's pretty damn good. I'm you know, might be a convert. So you know, uh, I might have to um, get one of these to add it to my you know Marshall and Fender Sims because sometimes you want that flexibility in one amp, and it does it amazing when you stuff. So yeah, worth it. So let's just check out our, um, our e distortion. Uh, but first off, just a quick rundown of what we're going through. Um, got my 2017 trusty um, Fender Nashville Deluxe with uh, vintage noiseless pickups, uh, our favourite guitar for recording, uh, into our Radio Pro DI, and then straight into our UR44C interface. Um, so that's what we're running at the moment. So let's have a look at our good old e-distortion. Um, so it's got three modes, and I'll just switch through each three modes. They gradually get more kind of intense in, as you go at the modes. Um, I've got it set up to about two o'clock, one o'clock kind of level. I've tried it at all sorts of different levels, and it really sounds good at whatever level you set it at. It, you know, flat out, right down to backed off to, you know, slight sort of edge of distortion. So really good flexibility in there. Um, and yeah, I can't fault it. So let's just have a play then. Here we go. <laughs> That's a bit nice, I like that. Um, yeah, it covers a lot of ground. Um, and the modes are really kind of useful. And, and you know, like I say, if you want something a bit more kind of crazy, mode three is just a bit mental. Um, but yeah, great sounding pedal. I mean, when I was pre-testing this and kind of getting used to it, um, I was just nearly away for ages because it's just such a great sound piece of kit. Um, so yeah, that's the good old uh, three mode Eddie Kramer E distortion. Um, let's have a look at our phaser. 
And again, this is three mode. Now the three modes, I can't remember this because it's not entirely obvious. Uh, mode one is classic phaser, mode two is wow phaser, mode three, three is univive phaser. Um, so let's check it out. Uh, so I've got it set uh, just you know about sort of 11 o'clock-ish. Um, yeah, again, I'm going to just keep it on one setting and let you hear it. Um, but it does go from a really slow phase right up to crazy warble and you know everywhere in between. Um, but yeah, I just love the sound of it. It does remind me a bit of uh, my uh, MXR Phase 95, which has got the, the script mode, which is quite subtle, and the modern Phase 90 mode, which is much more kind of in your face. Um, but sounds a little bit, little bit different. So let's give it, a, give it a whirl. Again, lovely warm phasing sound. Um, I love three modes. Um, it's quite nice and subtle on the mode one. Mode two, I can kind of hear the wire a little bit, but again, it's just more kind of in your face. Uh, and mode three is kind of somewhere in between, and you can kind of hear that univibe kind of thing going through. Um, but yeah, just just a lovely tone. You know, you kind of know when you, the tone is right. You, you can hear it, and they just have that kind of right. Found so yeah, really impressed. Anyway, a cup of tea, sort of, sort of, sip, sip of tea, sip of tea, get it right. Mm. Oh. So let's have a look at our good old echo battery. So this is just again a good old classic um, analog digital delay. Um, it's got a couple of useful little features. It's got this tape saturation knob, which you can have increasing amounts of tape saturation, a bit of warble, and then a filter to change the tone of the um, repeats from you know, more muted to more trebly and bright. Um, and I've just got to set it again about two o'clock-ish, and when it's two-ish, um, and then you know, low repeats, but low on the mix plenty of saturation and further, uh, further. so um, let's um, put on our U2 Edge hat um, and, uh, and hopefully there's no catastrophic failure uh, and see what goes.
Oh, you can't be a good old echo pedal. Um, so there we are. Um, three really interesting and really good and slightly different pedals. They're not your standard clones and they've got plenty of flexibility, especially the three mode Eddie Crane ones. Um, and yeah, not too stupidly expensive either. So, you know, it's just lovely. I mean, I, again, I've been sitting and playing with that for, for hours with me in the guise of testing, as you do, um, and really loved it. Um, so yeah, they're definitely worth a look. And all these three come in um, stereo rack versions where you can independently um, change the setting on each channel or link the channel to get the same setting. Um, I haven't got around to setting those yet. Um, that might require a separate episode. So we might look at those in the future because there's a lot of tweakability in those rack mount versions. But yeah, again, worth looking. Um, an F-Audio and Membrini combination with a bit of Eddie Kramer is uh, yeah hit the nail on the head um but yes check out the cali is you know you've got until the end of october 2020 um and um but if you know if you missed that then there's plenty of sales going on with membrini on a regular basis so you know keep an eye on it um but yeah very impressive so yeah another great win for membrini that's all from us um thanks for your time thanks for watching hope you found that useful i think uh, the membrini stuff um is available as demos uh so if they are, then it's worth checking out, see if you, see if you like these as much as I did. Um, but in the meantime, um, keep an eye out on the channel for other um, pedal and guitar related stuff. And we're certainly doing some more stuff on Ampsins and IRs. Um, we've got some f uh, stuff from Fuse Audio Labs, a few, a few other interesting bits and pieces. So keep an eye out and we'll see you on the next one. Cheerio. Iban Raki. Yeah. It's Thursday afternoon, sun's out. Cup of tea, ah, R2D2 mug, life's good. Oh, and my guitar. <laughs>